Jeremiah 17 verses 9 and 10. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. Good morning, YouTube, my beautiful, wonderful, glorious, precious, amazing brothers and sisters. It's Saturday, Shabbat Shalom, and it is the Sabbath day. October the 14th, 2017. Gather around, pull up a chair. Let me know what you're going to share with Pastor Dave as we begin this Sabbath day together. The sun is about to come up and it's raining. It's pouring down rain in Michigan. Let me know what the weather is like, where you live, and where are you from? Where are you from? What are you having? What are you having in your coffee? How do you take your coffee? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, let's uh, go to some ministry announcements. Uh, the only offering that has come in in some time is from Richard. And Richard from New York, I want you to know that I got your letter in the mail. I love getting stuff in the mail. I just really love getting stuff in the mail. And an offering, a tithing to our ministry and outreach to the homeless of $50. I'll put all the links below to how you can support our ministry and outreach to the homeless. We're heading to... Uh, Detroit, Michigan today, and uh, if my precious sister is listening, I'm going to give you a call. I'm going to uh, send you an email, let you know about what time we're leaving. She has some supplies for our ministry, some much needed, uh, I believe, blankets and warm stuff. The winter is on its way, and the weather is changing, and it's getting, getting cold. When I see the leaves start to change and the leaves start to fall, I think of the homeless and uh, how they suffer, how they suffer so greatly in the winter months. Update on uh, our building and on our church. I'm a little discouraged, I'm a little disappointed, but it's got to be God's will. If this is what God has planned for this ministry, it will come to pass, it will happen. Chrissy and I went and we met with the realtor, a very nice lady, and she's a Christian lady. But she's not the boss, I guess. And uh, they even came down on the monthly um, lease, the monthly uh, rent for the church. It's beautiful. I didn't get any pictures. I should have. But uh, a little discouraged, a little disappointed. It's got a nice stage. So if you have one of the musical instruments, there's a nice stage. And it's really set up nice. I'd even have my own office. What about that? But they want us to commit to a long-term lease, uh, either three or five year lease, and it's very difficult because we don't know. I'm hoping we go home today. We don't know what is ahead in any of our lives financially, and uh, we're such a small ministry, and uh, we would be doing this on a lot of prayer, and it is just too hard to commit to that long of a term lease especially when we are struggling here at home ourselves uh, we're a poor ministry a small ministry and like all of you we just get by and month by month we're living paycheck to paycheck month to month we got our house on a land contract and we're trying to get a mortgage so we just can't let anything uh, that would uh, put us in peril so we're waiting to hear back if maybe her boss might have had a change of heart, and uh, um, the Lord knows all our hearts, and uh, I, I believe he's probably not a Christian from the way she was talking, and uh, a lot of people today, it's just about money, it's all about uh, that dollar, uh, all about the money, the love, the love of money is the root of all evil, so we're still praying. And if it's to be, it'll happen. If not, I will continue on and do the best I can. It right now is 4, 44 a.m. I don't sleep much anymore. I'm still waiting to go home. I'm looking for that blessed hope, and I know it could happen at any time. 
And I'm just praying, please, uh, if the date centers want to come out and set dates and keep extending the length of the time for the rapture to take place week after week and month after month, please don't follow this. We need to go home. The church needs to be one body joined together. We need to be watchmen on the wall. But if you read scriptures, do you really know what the watchman was? He sounds the alarm. He sounds the warning. He doesn't set rapture dates. That's not a watchman. I really want to go home. Still have a bad feeling that something terrible is about to happen. It's uh, Saturday, the Sabbath, the 14th, and uh, something is coming. Something is coming. And I said between the 11th and the 15th, and uh, I know we've got all of these terrible wildfires, more and more lives lost, and uh, California and uh, we've got Kim Jong-un now threatening to wipe out uh, the United States of uh, Guam. He's got his finger on the trigger, sounding and beating the war drums. But uh, this is strange. My lights keep flickering. I don't know. Did you see that? Did you see that? It seems like when I talk about great tribulation, I don't know. The lights kind of just... Uh, flicker on and off. I love you guys. Pray for our ministry. I'm going to try to pick up my precious sister this weekend. Uh, she's up in years and I miss her and uh, she lives so far away and if I'm going to Detroit I might as well swing by and bring her home for the weekend and uh, I guess we'll celebrate my birthday Sunday since Monday's a work day and uh, have her over for some cake and ice cream. I love you guys. You find it in your heart to support our ministry and outreach to the homeless. I'll put all of the links below. Something is brewing. Something evil is coming to this world. Pray to be found worthy to escape all the things. And they're coming. But let me tell you something. Jesus is coming. He's about to break the eastern sky. The Father is about to say, Son... No more tarrying. I want my children home. Go get my children. I love you. I'll put all the links to our ministry and outreach to the homeless below. Pray for my family as I pray for yours. And pray for this ministry and pray for the homeless. God bless you.